good afternoon from here at Carnation Crafts. Now, first of all, I have to give you a little bit of an apology. Sorry for the late beginning, but we've had a few technical issues. Obviously, it could be due to the weather or obviously just electrics. We don't know, to be fair, at the honest. But if you lose us at any point, we do apologize. But we have made sure that we come live for you right now to be able to show you the fantastic back to it. And this is one of the fantastic collections that we have brought you. The last few days, you've seen it on Create and Craft, but now this is your time as the Carnation Crafts team that we want to show you the colours of autumn. As you can see with this collection, it's a beautiful autumnal collection, but you know, you could use it any time of the year to be fair. You've got that super large die in the centre, which as always with Carnation Crafts, they give you the foundation, which is your card base. But as you can see with the card base on this one, you can chop into this. You've got mats, you've got layers, you've got that beautiful beautiful trellis work to make this work really really well. Then you have got the wonderfully woven and this is a lovely backdrop for any of your cards giving you that backdrop of style of also a little bit like a basket weave but remember all the artwork you see here is all hand drawn by Nick and the team at Carnation Crafts so you know you're getting the best of the best. Then you've got the foliage on there as well and you can with this one you've got the conkers in there you've got the leaves and a little bit more more. You've got the roses in there too, the small children running together, the young at heart, you've got those there. And as always with Carnation Crafters, we move down, you've got the floral elements in there too. With all the mats and layers, you've also got the tuck-ins that are absolutely incredible. They're a little bit geometric with the style in there, but it plays very well to give you that little bit of depth sometimes that you need on your cards. Wouldn't be Carnation Crafts as well if we didn't have our little mouse in there too. And this one is either eating a protein bar, as it says, or a chocolate bar. I'm going to opt out every time I'm asked with a chocolate bar in my mouth to say I'm eating a protein bar. I'm trying to be good. So we're going to do that. Now, I am here this afternoon with the lovely Tasmin as well. So get your messages in on social media for us and we will answer any of your questions as well. But this fantastic collection we've got for you today, £119.99 for you to have this hour, but also as well, free PMP too. So just remember, hop over to Carnegie carnationcrafts.co.uk where you can peruse all through their website and don't forget why you're there also with the glues and obviously applicators and cardstock and everything else but honestly we have a little bit more for you on the show as well but remember 210821 we have the fantastic carnation crafts color of autumn collection for you right here right now now, if you're wanting to build your basket, build your bundle and add a few more things to it, I've got four extra things for you this hour as well. First of all, we have got extra dies on the show that work so well with this collection. First of all, we've got the pumpkin corner, which is this. And I have to say, look at the size of that. Not just for autumnal cards, I'm feeling Halloween with that. That would be fantastic. Plus, if you've got any of your little mice that you can dress up, I would add that in. But all beautiful with that one. If you're wanting the pumpkin, patch corner that we've got for you 210839 12.99 show price for you with that one also next for you we have got for you quick hello now i'm telling fibs we've got cozy comforts for you now this is about the cozy comforts of slippers you've got your newspaper and that lovely cup on there too so it could be hot chocolate it could be more do remember as well with that one if you mix in some of the flowers that we've also got in the main collection it comes as you can use it as a flower vase as well so again very very useful and handy to use and also with the slippers if you snip into it, that then becomes, it looks like a little hat. So you can have the hat and you can duplicate the slippers and you can add those in. But if you want in the Cozy Comforts, 210837 on that one and 9 99 for your show price with that one as well. Next one and last one in the collection, we have got Quick Hello, which is that lovely little mole waving at you through that beautiful shrubbery that's there as well. You can trim the mole away and use it separately and keep the arbor bit to be able to use with the two little characters or with a mouse from the main collection. So mixing and matching those in to add that as well. 210838 and that is your Quick Hello die set 14.99. They are all individuals available on carnationcrafts.co.uk website to have those. Now if you are getting the main collection plus you are looking at the artwork thinking 
I need the colors to match this. I want the colors to be seamless and perfect. Why not get your perfect papers? These are the color of autumn. You're getting 48 sheets, all A4 size, 300 GSM. You're getting six colors, eight of each one in this one. And you can see by the colorways that we have on here, we have got the most beautiful autumnal. You've got that oxblood red in there. You've got that beautiful olive green in there with the pinks and that soft, I'd say it's like a real true vanilla kind of buttermilk kind of shade in there as well but lovely tab in 222831 and that is your colors of autumn perfect papers 14.99 for that one on the fantastic show price but like I say head over to the website on carnationcrafts.co.uk everything is there there's a plethora of all different products on there as well plus you can get your free downloads your vignettes which is your pre-colored images that you lay your dies on top and you can cut them out and all the artwork is pre-colored so if you're brand new to crafting it makes it easy but if you're long-standing like a lot of us are that have crafted for many years it saves you time but you get that professional finish each and every time as well now let's take a look at the boards to show you exactly what you are getting in the main collection let's move this across now this is the main frame now i always love carnation crafts because whenever they do a collection you always get a cut like a card blank that you can use you've got shape you've got dimension and everything else now what i am going to do is bring you some of these cards in so you can have a little look so this is the main frame of the card when it's cut out. So you've got everything from your mats and your layers, you've got definition, you've got dimension and more. But being Carnation Crafts, they could have said, do you know what, we'll give you two the same to decorate it. Carnation Crafts and the team, Nick and everybody said, no, do you know what, extra metal let's add it in so you can mix and match these up so you might want to use two scalloped ones you might want to use two patterned ones you have those but also remember these are fantastic to actually rub a stamp onto as well so you could use them as tags and labels and more but once your cards are put together bear with we've just squashed this one i do apologize you have then got that detail on there to make the most beautiful cards that you can see with the detail and design on there mats and layers like we say so you've got that buildability on there but this one it could be a box lid you could use it as that the center you could actually use as a frame you could actually make an aperture out of that one as well so lots of potential to take this to a different level as well and that isn't autumnal in any way shape or form in my opinion i would say christmas cards will look phenomenal with a christmas tree on if you've got any of the previous collections we've brought to you but also it could be Valentine's Day, it could be Mother's Day and more. So always fabulous to have these in the collection. Next up for you, we have one of the fantastic flowers. And as always with Carnation Crafts, when they do flowers, they are the most perfect ones. So realistic and lifelike. And even the foliage, the shading and the colours in the leaves are incredible. You've got the beautiful design on there. Again, you've got your mats and layers. So if you're wanting to mat and layer this, but do remember if you cut four of them, you can make a beautiful frame all the way round with those. Now I have to say hello to Sandra, Alison, Sarah. Teeling, Sue, I've got Doreen, Alex, and I've also got Mordred, Mildred, sorry, Mildred from Milton Keynes. Thank you for emailing in. Thank you as well for contacting us on social media, on Facebook. It's nice to know that you're all there with me, but thank you. That's I've got Shakira with me as well. So thank you for doing that as well. I'm Whitney, just being out there. I think it's Whitney Houston, I'm just saying. But no. Anyway, back to the boards. We've got the beautiful roses. Now these, I would use these all the time. The delicate features on these, that detail, the shading, and also that 3D layers. Look how beautiful they are. Now, this is what I was saying to you. If you actually use the beautiful, you know, from the Cozy Collection, the little mug that's in there. If you take the mug, the sizing that it is, you can use that as a little vase as well, or a vase if you want to use it in that way, and you can use that too. So that's your beautiful rose, your ruddy rose as it's called. Now next up for you, you have got this beautiful fretwork design on there, a little bit like a basket weave. You've got all the elements on there too. Oh, I've got Jackson, I've got Michael, <laughs> Michelle, sorry, you don't. You know, I've been, somebody being dyslexic and somebody writing names on a board 
it's not going to end well, is it? So it says Michelle and then it says Jackson. I do apologise. You are terrible today. But honestly, Sasha and Sarah as well, thank you for joining us. It does mean a lot that you're there. It really does. So thank you. Because obviously, Carla's a bit busy. So I've, I'm helping out this hour. But honestly, it's just nice to know that you're there. And spend some time with the Carnation Crafts crew. That's what I like. Now, you can see with this, you've got that layer ability. You've got your card blanks, your card bases. You can rotate one of the layers. So you've got that beautiful design on there but even as a card base you can use this to make little easel cards setup cards do remember you can make and sell as many as you like with these as well which is very very generous from carnation crafts as always now the sunflowers you've got that smiley happy feeling always with these flowers now with these you can see with the vignettes the shading is incredible even on the on black as a backdrop it's got the grandeur it's got that stance on there too but if you're wanting to get the best effects, please print it out onto the Pro Print paper. Have a look on the website. It's not the printer you use, it's what you print it onto. And Pro Print paper will make all the difference. It gives a true colorization and you can download all the colored ones for free. Yes, if you want to use your pens, cut it out in our fantastic cardstock on the website as well. We do 250 and 350 GSM. You've got all those. But honestly, if not for your vignettes, we have the printable papers too. So have a little look for those. Now, these are extra, extra special. When Carnation do the beautiful um, floral elements and leaves and foliage, they go to town. Now, this is one that you probably think I wouldn't use all the time. But once you see the vignettes, when I show you now, you will see how useful these are. You've got that colour, you've got that dimension. These are all extra bits to tuck in behind to build your bouquets and to give that stance. This one at the bottom is fabulous because you've got those little leaves that the kids can actually, you know, the children I'll show you in a while, they could look like they're kicking the little leaves in there as well. With this, because with the vignettes, you can flip them over. So if you wanted to, you could have two back to back. So you could actually have a beautiful pile of leaves and a stance that the children could run through. Look at these berries and the leaves in there, but add a little bit of gilding wax on these, add a little bit of glossy accents on here. And that again would look incredible. Anybody for retirement cards or teacher cards, these would be lovely to be able to use on there too. Next up for you, you have got the cute little mouse. Now it wouldn't be carnation if Nick and the team didn't do a little mouse. And this one, he's, he's packing them in ready for Christmas, this one. He's got his little chocolate bar. He's got that fat little tummy on there, which, you know, a lot of us have got, you know. You've got, it says protein bar, it could be chocolate bar. It's down to you. Now, if you've got a cute and cuddly, I would definitely say it's all about the chocolate right there. Now, this was the little characters that were saying about, you know, with the little two children running, skipping through the leaves, doing those in there. Can we just say hello to Julie? I've got Amanda. I've got another little Sarah coming through. We've got Jennifer and I've got Claire. Thank you for being with us as well. Now, leaves as always, and you've got your sentiments to add that detail in. That's what it's all about. Now, these are your tuck-ins. I'm just going to move these out of the way. Now, when you get your dies, this is how they will cut out which look amazing. If you just want a border, you want that backdrop, you just want that bit of detail, this is the one. But because the dies, you can lay them out time and time and they will join up, you can then make the most amazing backgrounds because they've got a repeating pattern so you can do that. Look how this looks. If you're a sort of person who doesn't like ripping and tearing, this is going to give you that detail and that design because you've got that kind of abstract torn edge on that one. But also, if you want something a bit more geometric, or this to me is a little bit Christmassy as well, so you can mix those in. This one looks like poinsettias in here as well. So you could layer, you could cut it in white, then cut it in red and layer it up. You imagine in that golden red. Again, mixing it up, not just for autumnal use. That is everything you are getting in the main bundle. That is the colours of autumn that we've got the collection for you here today. And as you can see, for £119.99, you have got a great saving on this. Normal price is £168.91, but not today, not on carnationcrafts.co.uk. We are bringing you back in stock for you. So take a wander across to carnationcrafts.co.uk, but I've got Catherine, I've got Joanne, I've got Sandra, I've got, is it JD? I've got Elaine as well. So, and Joe too. So we've got everybody. <laughs> Can you make your O's look like O's, not D's? I'm saying I've got JD. Well, you know, I'm doing everything here. <laughs> 
and I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm trying to read. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to. Talk. We've had technical issues, but we're all sorted. We are. We're all sorted now. Yeah, Carla's back, so we all feel safe now too. Do you want to switch? Do you want to swap? You do this, and I'll come and do. You. No, it's all good. No, it's all good. I can't write and spell so. Make sure you leave her with right. buttons. Yeah. As if you'd leave her with buttons. It could get out of hand. I'm not going to. We did already pre warn that we might go off air, so this might actually be the reason. <laughs> I'm going to go and put some appropriate leggings on. Thank you. If you saw the show earlier, you will see that Miss Carl had a few issues with leggings, but the elastic has finally gone and they, they, are, they are being burned. Now, next for you, obviously, it, we, I want to take you to the website because here I want to show you as well where you can get your downloads, your vignettes. We are having technical issues. Please bear with us. It's one of those nights. Do you know what? I'm going to show you a few finished samples. Please. So let's have a little look. So with you can, you know, with your finished samples, you can see as well, this is what we're talking about. Using the pumpkin corner on there as well, you've got your sunflowers, but look how everything's tucked in. You've got that little mouse, little harvest mouse just behind there as well, but beautiful with the designs. If you want to take the harvest mouse, and you want to cut one of his little chocolate bars on. It could be an anniversary card as well, so you could do that. But look how different elements, when they're brought together, you can make different styles of cards. So that could be for a dad card or a brother card or a partner as well. You've got those lovely designs. Now, if you like the Molly Molly, we have the little mole for you in there, the young at heart. But look at these cards. The decorations and the layouts are incredible in there too. Now, look at this one. Obviously, being gentler in the background, using the decorative panels, not too much of the ornateness in there, but really giving it that grandeur. And I'm not being funny, this looks like a beautiful piece of pottery. Because of the detail and the shading, that's what it's all about. You can see with the characters as well. You know, like I said to you about the little Mr. Mole before, he's been cut out of the bottom here. Let me bring this in and show you, just so you can see like for like. You can see the design. Mr. Mole has just been carefully trimmed out, but it's left the archway for the children to run through, like they're running through the forest. They're going to forage in for the, you know, the chestnuts and for the conkers. You have got it all in there too. Now, let's show you some of the showstoppers. Massive thank you to the design team as always. They do an incredible job. Now, with this one, there's two of the cards that have been put together, but look at the depth, the dimension that you've got in there and the elements that have been used. And you can see you've really got that diorama kind of style with this one and you've got the beautiful berries you've got the roses in there but look how the colors marry together now i've got joyce i've got carol and i've got in Vaughn, and i've got frederica oh frederica where's frederica from i'd like to know message in and let me know but honestly i have got um Jennifer as well, Jennifer's there too, and also Clara. So thank you for emailing in and also for messages on social media too. Now, can we go to the website please, Miss Taz? It's not working. It's not working. Okay. We're gonna demo. We're gonna demo. Let's do demo. I can do that. Honestly, it's it's been you've got no idea what we've been trying to do. We've had electricians in, we've had people in, we've been trying to to get on here to sort everything out for you tonight. It's, it's been a little bit crazy. Now, as you can see, I've already cut a few elements out ready because we wanted to be good to go. But you know when you're die cutting, it's very, very simple. Would say to you, get some cut tidy off the website if you've not seen that before. It's a special piece of, I'd say it's plastic, kind of plastic, but it's a bit of magic. It helps to cut with all your dies. I use it for any of the die cutting shows I ever do on Create and Craft because it just gives me the confidence to know it's that extra shim that will get me. Get, get me through and make sure that all my dies are released easily. Now, as you can see, everything is perfectly sized and die cut as always to bring everything together with the collection that I've got for you today. So I'm just gonna move this across and I'm gonna move across. Let's start gluing. Now, using my everyday glue, this has got a low water content. So that means it's not gonna warp or bottle your cardstock. Now there is one for every day. You don't need a lot, less is more. Don't go gun ho just because you've got a lot of glue. Okay, just use a tiny little squiggle all over. That's all you need to do. And we're going to position this onto our card. Yes, you can use finger lift tape if you want to, but do you know what? If you don't want to, just use that. I'm using my multimedia mat, which is fabulous because I can line everything up and make sure, let me get it straight. You've got everything straight on there. 
lovely to use now if you're working like I am just make sure it's all pressed down and you have got that little layer there but like I say less is more with the everyday glue it's a fantastic fast drying glue that will give you that full com you know compact glue look without the bulk so just adding that onto there like so and you can see you've got that detail and design lovely edges on this and the cardstock I'm using is from the perfect papers so we can do those oh I've got Christine with me I've got Jan I've got Rona I've got Trevor hi Trevor I've got Irene I've got Gillian oh there's lots of you out there tonight thank you so much yes Miss Tasman I have had a question question from question from Sue hello Sue question where in the sandwich do you put your cut tidy dawn? I right. can never figure it out. Okay, now there's a couple of ways of doing it with your cut tidy, but I'll I'll show you the best that I can. So what I want you to do, I always use my dies cut side up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna open this, Taz. I'm gonna do it. Just so everybody at home knows. Now, when this is how I do it, okay, everybody's different. Okay. Now you will get instructions on the packet, don't worry. So let's we're gonna pretend. Okay, so Pretend that's my cutting mat from my die cutting machine, okay? I'm going to put my die on, face side up, cutting side edge up, okay? What I tend to do then is I will lay on, hang on, bear with, bear with. I lay on my cardstock, okay? Once I've got my cardstock on, I will then lay on, let's pretend, cut tidy. My cut tidy, and please don't think, I'll use, a, I'll use just a plastic bag it won't work cut tidy is multi-use multifunctional use it till it actually falls to bits okay but what you do is you put your cut tidy on let's pretend cutting plate on the top run it through your machine honestly if you watch any of my current craft shows you know for the last ooh, three four years i have used cut tidy on every die cutting show it doesn't matter if it's um, Carnation Crafts, if it's Sizex, if it's one of the other brands that I bring to you, um, it could be obviously the Hobby House, I've used theirs, and all the other brands that I use, I will always use a sheet of Cut Tidy. So honestly, bear with, and I hope that's helped. But always remember, dye, cardstock, Cut Tidy on top, but get on the website and stock up on that. Do not miss out on that, because honestly, the sheets, we do A5, but you can open them up, which makes an A4. So if you've got a larger platform machine, you can use it for that. But also, if you have got, you know, even a small machine, you know, one of the three inch wide machines, you can cut your Cut Tidy into strips to help you cut as well. But it's a, I call it goof proof. It's wheeler proof anyway, but it always makes sure I always get that precise cut. If you've got a die, not necessarily with Carnation Craft, but you know from other companies, the larger ones sometimes, you may, and if you're using a heavier weight cardstock, say you, you're getting up to 280 or something like that GSM, sometimes you just need that extra compression. That's what Cut Tidy will, to, will do. It's a game changer. Anybody out there who's got Cut Tidy and uses it all the time, please message in on Facebook, on the post, and just let them know you use it and what you think of it as well, because we'd love to know. Hope that helps, Miss Tasmeen. She says, thank you. Woohoo, just stocked up on my pro print. I am loving this collection. Yeah, yeah, stock up on your pro print, because always, you know, we can never guarantee, you know, we might have enough stock of that, but pro print is a game changer. And especially when you're printing out your vignettes, because remember with your vignettes, these are all on the website. When the website's up and running, you go to the website, you go to downloads. The, the website will be working for them, it's just not working. It's working it? for you. So honestly, th I'll tell you how to get there. Go to the website, click on download. When you get there, you'll see all the headers. Click on downloads, type in colours of autumn, type that in, and then it will bring up. Obviously, it might be a little bit further down. It will be on there. You'll get sheets. I'm going to show you. This isn't that collection, but I'm trying to show you so you understand. You will, you'll see sheets like this is downloadable for free. You've got all your artwork. Once you've got this, you can print it up. And this is on pro print paper, so you get that fabulous finish. But also, one, there's these ones. Now, if you're looking at this with the line down, you're thinking, what's that about? They're, they're mirrored. How, do, how does this work? What I want you to do is take it, score it on your scoreboard, and then what I want you to do is put a little bit of spray adhesive on the back or a little bit of wet glue, tiny bit of wet glue on there, and then sandwich it and stick it together like that. Okay? Then once it's glued, put 
your dies over the top and it doesn't matter if it's the pumpkin patch that I'm showing you now or it's, look at these, or it's the flowers, they're all double sided because that's how you do it. And then all you do is die cut that out and that then will actually give you a double sided bunny rabbit which then you can flip to the left or you can flip him to the right because it's joined up. So absolutely genius as well. Now I just want to show you this. I don't know if you can see it so well at home. This side is standard print paper. This side is pro print. Now that, look at the difference. Look at the colour difference. This is pro print, that isn't. Look how faded and wishy-washy it looks on the edges. Not with your pro print. And that's how it's cut on the line so you can see the difference. But look how fabulous that is. Look how the colour changes. That's what gives it the intensity because with pro print paper, the colour actually stays on the top. It's not oversaturated and soaked into your actual papers and cardstock. So I hope that helps with everything else. Question, Miss Taz. Sarah has Sarah. Asked, can you use poly pockets as cut tidy? No. I'm going to be honest with you. No. You could try it. I'll be honest with you, try it, but you won't get the same effect. It is designed differently, and honestly, it makes such a difference when you use that. Now, if you use the pocket ones, after a bit, you will find it just literally doesn't give the compression, okay? If you use the cut tidy, you'll get a better effect. I'll be honest with you, if I can save you some pennies and I can cut corners, you know I'll always tell you, but pro print, I wouldn't. I won't cut back on, and a good glue I wouldn't cut back on too because that's the difference in making your cards look fabulous or not so fabulous, I'll be honest. But if I could, I would honestly tell you where to cut corners. But not with your pro print, not with a glue, and not with your cut tidy. Honestly, I, you know, Mr. Mark, I, I phone him and say, look, I need, I need some cut tidy. So he has to send it me out because otherwise I do have a bit of a mardy. Now with this one, just twist it and rotate it till the notches at the top match because they're not on the side. So just have a look at that when you are lining it up. I've only glued it in the center because I like a little bit of movement and play. So you've got that design on there too. Do remember as well when you're making your cards, these could be used separately on a card. You can make a little card blank by cutting that off as well. So have a look at those. Now I'm putting my glue onto my mixed media mat. We may need to get some more glue, Miss Taz. We're getting a bit I think with the heat and everything else, these are drying. Now, I've got my everyday glue applicator. This is your magic glue wand of glues. Now, with this one, it's because then you can get into the little areas. Plus, is this one, it's not got a little ball on the end. It's actually got a long, fluffy, flat bit. So, your glue will actually attach to it. Now, I can give you a top tip on this. Not that Mr. Carnation Craft's going to like this. But, if you... Because, obviously, you do get 100 applicators, right? but I can save you a few pennies on these. If you want to save your pennies and put it towards your um, cut tidy, I would honestly say to you, before this, before you finish using it, before it goes dry, or wrap it in a damp cloth and wipe the end, you can reuse it. But I'm just trying to, if you want to save pennies somewhere, you can do that so you can get your pro print paper and obviously your cut tidy. I would just do that. But these, you get 100. I'm not being funny. You're not going to miss them. Don't think you can use anything else when you do this. These have been specially designed for this. And believe you me, it makes a massive difference. How many of us have had squidgy glue marks on his cards? We've got it everywhere. But also, you know when you miss the bits and you've got to go back in and you think, oh, like that. I could go back in there. I could tap that on there and then press that down. It's not a problem. Whereas how many of you have gone in with a glue bottle like this, tried to tip it up, and then you've got too much glue everywhere. Don't do it. You know, normally I put it a lot of the glue on the back of my hand and do that, but after years of doing that, yes, I've got silky smooth little hands, but this is the best way. You can just go in, you can tap it, press it down, and then you've got your glue on there. But look already, that looks absolutely amazing. I hope you'll agree. Now, I'm going to bring in my little Molly Mole. He's going to sit just here. So let's just add a little bit of glue to the back on this area. But the double-sided one. So if it was hanging over the edge of a card or I was using this um, with acetate or something like that, I could use this as well because I'm not scared. There's not a lot of rangers out there that do the, you know, the reverse patterns out there. I think Carnation Crafts was one of the first to actually do this. So it does give it that beautiful design. Remember all hand drawn. I cannot express that enough. How lovely it is to work with a range 
where it's all hand-drawn artwork. So it's a little bit like, you know when you get those fantastic illustrated storybooks and things like that for kids and all the artwork that's in it, this is what it's like working for Carnation Craft. You know you've got those beautiful designs in there to work with each and every time. Now, I'm just going to start adding bits to this one now so you can see how gorgeous this is. Like I said to you before, that was that little cup that I was saying you can add, look at this from the, the Cozy Comfort range, you can add bits in, you can dress those as well. So just to show you, that I knew I'd got one somewhere, just to show you how fabulous you can add those in. I'm going to curve it slightly. We have got the ball tools and everything on the show, so do have a look at those. I'm going to use a little bit of pin flare in case you're thinking why she's changing up the glues. This is for dimension and height, and I just want a little bit on the edge so I can tuck different bits in. So I'm just going to add my little cup there, and then I'm just going to thread in and add in some of these different elements just to work this in there and to make it look a little bit more autumn with that one so again giving that detail and design I've got some of the uh, beautiful florals that we're going to add in here I've got Melissa Heidi Christina Julia and Beryl thank you ladies lovely to know that you're with me on this lovely what day are we on Tuesday Wednesday Wednesday I knew that we're on Wednesday wouldn't it middle of the week I know I don't even know my name some days I'm not going to fib to you I don't know what day it is or who I am and if you saw us last night, we got very wet. It wasn't it wasn't a good night. I hope a lot of you were safe and well, all in crafting with your carnation craft dyes and everything to keep you all safe and well. So let's just add this in. So all I'm doing is mirroring those there so they're actually facing each other. And then I've got the extra layer as well to bring this in. Now, I might give um, Nick and the team me bejeebies, but now with this, obviously you would lay it on like for like, okay? But me being me, I sometimes rotate them and put them down differently. So it actually gives it a different, it gives it a fuller look. You don't have to do that. That's just the way I do it. You know, and I know, like I say, I don't mean to offend the team at Carnation, but sometimes I cut bits down like that and then I'll rotate them. But it just gives it a different look. So you do you, as we say. And you know you can add different bits to it. Mould it, shape it, use the ball tools as well that are on the show. And you can build this up. So I'm just adding those onto there. But hopefully you can see that's a quick, simple little card. But it shows a lot of the different elements. It also shows as well, we've added in the little mole in there too. But that will then give you that lovely detail on there too. Do I need to lay that down? Sorry, Miss Tiz. I'm that used to doing it the other way. I do apologise. It takes me a bit to adjust. But then you've got the floral elements in there. You've got the little mole. And then we've used the cup to make it look a little bit like a vase this hour with that on too. Now, the main collection we've used is a colour of autumn collection, £119.99. And you can see from that, you have got a lot of metal from for your money especially the z fold card look at that all the metal in there all the mats the layers the detail that you have got on there is absolutely gorgeous i nearly knocked everything off i'm not going to lie to you but hopefully everything will stay there so it'll be absolutely fine but honestly hop over to carnationcrafts.co.uk where everything will be for you right there now shall we get straight into another demo let's do that so let's bring one in let's have a look what we've got in this one so now we're changing up the colors a little bit first one was more wine tones and pink tones but this time we are going a little bit more autumnal so you can see with this one, I've got this lovely, beautiful autumnal shade from the beautiful Perfect Papers in there too. Let's just get all the bits out so I can have a little look, see what we've got in here. And then we can start to bring this together as well. So let's just bring this in and over and then you can see how lovely this will all work out too. So let's add that on. There we go. Let's have a look. Oh, I've got Michaela, I've got Nancy, I've got Brenda, and I've got Sue and Sue. I've got Sue Sue. So I've got two of you. Thank you very much. Two Sues tonight. Well, who knew? Now, again, I've got my card blank, my card base. Like I say, what you can do with this as well, just to show you a little trick, you can fold it back on itself and you can do a reverse easel with it. So you can use it like that. Now, if you take the center bit, 
that you get spare with that and you put that on the back that will give you a little ledge to actually stand your card so you can do that so please don't think with these these card blanks it's all about always doing the same shape it's so much more than that and you can really you know do different things with it so cut it out of say you run you know your most unfavorite card stock that you've got left which we all have sometimes in our little cupboards and drawers and just play around with it don't be frightened to actually experiment with the card stocks that you have so again i'm lining this up here because i've got the notch at the top notch at the bottom and then I know that is the right mat and layer to go on there. So let's pop that on. Then I've got the extra bits here. Let's use the panels. This one on the inside, I'm using a scallop one, but you could cut two exactly the same and you could then actually use two the same. But I think it's nicer to have a smoother one on the inside and then a decorative one on the outside. So it just gives it that different play of design on there as well. Now with this one as well, I am going to put the trellis layers on, but I'm not going to decorate the middle trellis layer this time. I'm going to leave that blank. So again, it gives you a different look with those. Let's add this onto here. So I'm just going to now add my piece on there, but look how it works with that beautiful, like it's like a, a brown mustard, if that makes sense. Does it make sense? What color would you call it, Taz? The one you're using. Yeah. Is it like a dark French mustard? I'd say it was like milk chocolate, personally. I've just got chocolate on the brain now. Yeah, we've got chocolate on the brain. It's that little mouse. But no, if you look at the colour on there, what colour would you say it is? I'm thinking. It looks like a dark mustard to me. Mm. It could be a chocolate. Yeah, yeah, it could be a chocolate. I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be really good. We're not eating bad, we're trying to be really good. It's not working. We've all got all of this to go on. We've got to look good. We've got to we've got to, you know, rein in the rein in the chocolate bars. So as I'm gonna end up looking like the mouse in this this collection, I'm not gonna fib to you. I tell you what a good chocolate bar is. What's a good chocolate bar, Taz? The whirly curly, swirly bars. I can't actually say it. The long ones, the thin ones. Yeah. Can I have them? Yeah, they're good. Oh, I'm having a curly whirly then. <laughs> Swirly burly. <laughs> Swirly burly or a Mars bar or a Snickers, whatever you want. You you know, I've named three, so you can have whatever you want. Chocolate bars always help to all of us. So we've got all those in there too. So just adding these in. How may I help, Miss Taz? Marie. Marie. Is watching in Canada. She's Ooh. visiting her daughter and family. Oh, Marie, I hope you have a fabulous time over in Canada. Oh, Sue has said the colour looks a bit like dark copper. Dark copper, yes, thank you, Sue. Dark copper, yeah. I was thinking it was more like a dark mustard, but yeah, dark copper. Dark copper works. Dark copper works. I like that. Thank you, Sue. It's that time of night, and honestly, it's been it's been a little bit stressful this afternoon. <laughs> so we 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 are a little bit a bit jittery. <laughs> honestly, we were trying to make everything. It was like we've got we've got. Let's. I'm um, I'm I'm going to say this because Mr. Mark can't thrash me. He can thrash Carl. He can't thrash me so much. But honestly, electricians were arriving. We were like, come on in, come on in, come and sort this out and try and make this work. You know, we've, honestly, we, the things we've done this afternoon to try and make everything come together for you tonight. It's been very funny. Trust it happening, but it was just me and you in the house. I know it was just me and me and Taz, and Taz goes. Where's the, where's the fuse box? I'm like, I don't know. So we had to find that first. Believe you me, we had to find that. That was quite interesting. Then when we did, we looked at it. We we um, searched on the internet to make sure we'd got the right things and what to do. We'd done it all this afternoon. So yes, it's been it's been rather eventful. I feel like I can fix any. I do. I feel a bit like an electrician now, but I'm not going to touch anything. Any electricians out there, don't worry, your jobs are safe. But um. No, don't want to mess. Hey, my booth, I could get an electric shot. My hair be stood on end. I would look wild. So, yeah, we've got that. Honestly, I got static last night. Did you see me with my plastic bag on my head? Please, please wear plastic bags responsibly. Don't put them over your heads. Unless it's raining like I did. I came out of work, came running round here to Miss Carla to drop pick some stuff up and drop some stuff off and honestly it was torrential and it was thundering lightning I thought I can't put an umbrella if I get it by lightning that's it wheelers are gonna so I, I did have to use a carrier bag but at work on security they saw me leaving the building which they thought were highly hilarious and we're all watching it back me running to the car with a carrier bag on my head but you know needs must that's what I'm saying crafter at heart always so I could craft it up 
I don't know if orange is my colour, I'm just saying, but you know, I can work, make it work. There we go, look at that. Ball tool and mat available on the website as well. If you're wanting that extra bit of zhuzh to your project, projects and that curvature. Now, with your pumpkin, I'm not doing the outer edges. I'm only doing the bit in the middle because when you look at a pumpkin, it's that bit that protrudes, okay? So you've got that, you know, like the curve. So what I'm doing is just doing the middle bits, not the outer edges. And you'll see with all those cut lines, this will make this move and curve. So really, really beautiful to have that. Now with the leaves on the side, I'm just bending that a little bit. But look now, that's got that curvature to it. This is a little bit flatter because this is going to be the bits that are glued down. But again, it just gives it that little bit of magic. Only put your glue where you need it. So you're only going to put it in the centre because it's only the bit in the centre that you want to be a little bit more bulbous, shall we say. So that's going to give it that lovely look on there. And look how the colours, you now got that dimension, you've got that shape on there as well. So then I've got a few extra bits I'm going to pop on and we're just going to bring those in too just for that extra little splash of colour but by using your pin flare you've got wiggle room you've got that playability to be able to add those in let's just shape up this one because this one is going on the front on the outside now with this one you'll notice I'm only curling in the centre okay because I want my flowers to look a little bit more curved okay then I flip it over and I will just shape that bit out but because I broke the fibers this now will make those leaves really pop I'm going to add a little bit of curve on this one because this time I want the leaves to curve out because this is going to go on the front of my card and you can see really it's now got that little bit of movement so this one's going to go here so again let's attach this to the card sometimes what I tend to do as well is I'll use my pin flare glue on that bit but the bottom bit, I want it to be flat. So let's just get a bit more glue, bear with. There we go. So if you're doing flat matting and layering, use your, like, your everyday glue and just put a smidgen on there because the top bit will be raised, the bottom bit will be flat and then you will see that then gives it a different look as well. So you've got different levels on your cards. Don't always do the same height and dimension. Now, I've got to move my card up a little bit because I need a little bit of shaping and I don't want to flatten what I've already done. So let's just move those out. Move this up as well. Again, this time I've taken my pumpkin, but instead I've cut out just one of the pumpkins. So you don't have to use them. And if you wanted to, you could cut... I'm going to fold it, but I'll fold it back out. Can you see? So if you imagine you cut that bit off, you could extend it and make it look like you've got a row of pumpkins but going the other way so you can do that but I'll fold that back out but again don't be frightened to cut into it best way to do is to play and cut because that will give you your shape I'm just going to mold that back again and we're going to add our pin flare again so adding this here because I want this pumpkin like a singular pumpkin to sit on the front so hopefully you can see that's coming together I've got some of the floral elements and like with this I just want to show you something with this as well Sometimes, if you don't want all of it, you can snip it down and also you can snip it again and you can make corners. But sometimes if you just want to snip that behind or like that bit there, I could go in again and you could extend that out and add extra pieces in there too. So do look at taking that one and having that little bit of snippability with all of these two, which does make it really, really creative. And that's what Carnation Crafts with Nick and the team will really do for you. And if you've never tried it before, now is your time to try it. But also, you know, you're probably a dedicated follower. That's why you're here tonight. You like to see the magic that Carnation bring, and they always do. And especially with back in stocks, you may have seen it, you may have been on holiday, you might have missed out on this one and thought, do you know what? I'd really like that now. You can cherry pick, obviously head over to the website where everything is on there for you as well. But I've got Cyril's with us. I've got Janet. I've got another lovely Janet with me. I've got Maurice. And I've also got Patricia. So thank you for being with me tonight. It really is nice to have you there as well. And then we can add all these bits. These are the decoupage bits. Yes, you could use them separately. I, like now, I'm just going to put that little one there just in that corner to look like it's growing there. But you can see with that, hopefully, again, a different style, a different colourway. But look how beautiful your cards can also look with this as well. Do you want me to lay it down, Taz? I'm really sorry. I keep standing everything up. Sorry. But look at this. 
got that lovely design just let that glue dry but when you have used pin fillet glue please lay it straight down let it dry because you don't want everything to slide and move but look how different you can make it your pumpkin which is an extra on the show it's not in the main collection but honestly i would pop it in always remember with carnation crafts you have got your paypal pay in three and also you have got what's the other one tells me okay. Clip A as well. So do have a look on the website when you get to check out on carnationcrafts.co.uk. If you're wanting the pumpkin corner die set, 210839, pop that in because it is a separate individual die. Pop that in with the main collection, but it's a super size die. And I do feel if you are doing Halloween and you want to make gift bags for kids and things, it's a nice, it's a non scary look as well, but the best of everything. But if you're wanting cards for harvest festivals, you know it could be retirements it could just be for fall if you're in america hello to everybody in america out there if you're watching us you can use this too but remember pop over to carnationcrafts.co.uk and everything is on the website for you there as well so do not worry about that one now that is everything for you there but honestly, the collection is phenomenal. You can see by the foliage, the detail, all the different styles that you've got in there, this is absolutely going to be a complete kit. If you've never used Carnation before, do not worry. You have got everything in this kit. You've got everything from your card, your Z-fold card that you can use. So you've got your card blank. Then you've got decoration. You've got mats. You've got layers. You've got characters in there. And you've got that floral accent that always dress the cards and give it even more beauty and and even more design and do remember as well with your cards you can change the look of these as well and look at this adding two of the z fold cards together and i think that's what i'm going to try and do next for you is to be able to mix two together to show you how to do it but look how amazing that is so honestly do not worry this collection is 119 pound and 99 pence available on carnationcraft.co.uk 210821 and remember you will get your printable downloads they are available on the website too of carnation and then you can keep those and you can use those whenever you want to be able to print out and then lay your dies over the top to cut them out and then you can make the most exquisite cards with the designs that we have got for you and also remember they're all hand drawn they're all hand painted so the colours, that well, hand colourised, should I say. And they're all colourised to maximise and get that beautiful look on there as well. So let's add those in. Now, I'm going to be quite quick. We're going to do a bit of speed crafting because I don't think we've got long left. But I want to try and get this last one in for you. So bear with me. It could be fast and furious. So let's add this in. A bit like my driving, I'm just saying. Now, I've taken two cards, okay? So two exactly the same cards. But what I'm going to do is inlay one with the other can you see so that's going to fit to give that effect so let's just pop this on the reverse now i'm using finger lift tape you could use red liner tape which would be more preferable and would be honest with you but sometimes when i'm using this just as a little tip for you as well sometimes what i do tend to do because you get instant grab with the tape but with a wet glue, then you get the bond. So if you haven't got red liner tape, nice trick to do is normal tape, finger lift, and then a little bit of the actual everyday glue. And that gives it a fabulous bond because it instantly grabs, but then you've got that bonding in there as well. Now let's pop in the layers. Like I say, I'm going to go a little bit quick because obviously, like I say, we are up against time because it's a little bit shorter than normal. Do apologize if you've only just joined us. Thank you. But we did have a few technical issues. Like I say, we're not sure if it's the weather, the environment, it's the wiring or whatever. So believe you me, no straighteners, I had to unplug my straighteners, it was all happening. And you know in Wheeler World, look how quick the glue has dried. Can you see that? Absolutely instant. So please, in this warm weather, just take your time, put your glues on however you can. Now I'm going to pop these on too, and I'm going to add this to the front of my panels on my card to give it that designer look. Like I say, you will go a little bit slower when you're at home. I know you will, but tonight we are speeding a little bit because I want to get in quite a few demos for you tonight so you can see exactly what you can do with this beautiful collection each time. So this time we're doing a double one. We're going all out. We're going double, double. So let's add this in. 
using the tape on here. I haven't taped that one, but we can glue it. It's not a problem. So just adding this in because this is, you could leave the inside ones white if you want to, but because I've got my perfect papers, I can matte and layer it. The price you're getting the perfect papers for is incredible. Bear in mind, you're getting 48 sheets. If I said to you, I'm going to give you 20 sheets for 14 99 you'd snap my hand off. Remember, 48 sheets and these are all coloured. It's like a designer has gone in and said, right, I'm going to give you all the beautiful fabrics that will coordinate with all your different clothing. You would snatch my hand off. So honestly, do get these to coordinate with it. If you're not trying them before and you're thinking, oh, I've got loads of cardstock, you haven't got the perfect shades. Sometimes I think, oh, I've got the perfect pink or the perfect, and you sit for hours going through all your cardstocks to try and find that perfect one. Stop wasting your time. Please get the perfect papers. Everything is there that you will ever need to get that perfect colorization. But do grab a couple of extra ones if you can. Pop them in your basket if you can. Stretch to it so you know you're not going to run out as well. But do have a look on the website when you are getting your downloads because on there sometimes there is the extra bonus of inserts as well as a freebie. So always worth a little perusal through there and check out what we have for you. I'm now just layering these on so just bear with me. Are we doing all right for time, Taz? Nine minutes. Nine minutes, we're doing all right. So like I say, I'm doing a little bit of speed crafting. If I was you at home, I would say to you, put a little bit more glue all over, but I'm trying to put it on wherever I can. Have we got a question, No, Sue has said that she has a whole shelf for her perfect paper. Oh, <gasps> that's a beautiful thing, So I'm not surprised. Do you know what? Carla's got one downstairs, and I'm very, very envious because it is like an absolute portfolio of the most... Beautiful colour palettes, and I have to say, Carnation Crafts do slightly different colours to a lot of other people. And you can see the difference, the point of view. Remember, you can make and sell with all of these as well. Your perfect papers, I would honestly say to you, don't use as card blanks. You can if you want, but do you know what? I would save it for your matting and layering. Use white for your card blanks because that will always make the perfect papers pop. And then you've always got, if you've run out of one of your colours of your perfect papers, you've always got something to go with it. So I would always say white card blanks or cream, or even if you want to be a little bit of a devil, a little bit of black as your card base because that again will add structure and drama and I do feel especially with this colours of autumns if you did bring in a little bit of the black with this beautiful olive green that you've got here a little bit carquet-esque shall we say tone in this one but you can see with that look at that that's a beautiful thing you've got all those layers that are going to fold in and work together let's do the centerpiece let's get this one rocking and rolling now as I said to you before I'm going to add this bit in this time but I've trimmed it because I don't want all of it I want to save it for something else so let's do that let's add this to this side of my card and I'm just going to tuck that in there so you get to see that beauty of that I know we've got a lot going on but by the time we bring everything together you will realize and appreciate exactly what I'm doing and why so again normally I would mold and shape these but you know we're getting close for time so I am just going to use my fingers to mold these this time I do apologize but again with everything that's happened tonight we're trying to get as much in as we can now I'm just going to tuck that in there like so so it's already starting to hide that bit need the little bits for the outside edge so let's just make sure we have those and I've got my extra bits here as well add those on there I've got the extra bit of pumpkin because I want this to be a little bit more domed and shaped on here but honestly get the ball tool and everything else on the website and use yours you'll have the more time to do it and that will make a massive difference. I've got extra bits here, again, mold and shape. Sometimes I pinch them a little bit, but your ball tool will give you that little bit more splendor. Fasten to my jacket, that bit. So I'm just gonna poke these little bits in here, again, hiding the join behind there, and giving it that more grounding, giving it that fullness in there to be able to use. So let's just pop that in there as well. And add in that and just opening that. Can you see how it just gives it that wow factor in there? I'm going to add in my final little bit as well. So I'm just going to take this and thread that into the glue. But then that just breaks up the orange and um, the beautiful orange tones with that darker orange in there and looks like you've got a basket of beautiful flowers there. So just adding in now one of the little ones to hide the join there. I'm adding in our little sunflower. So just popping this 
onto there to make that work. Now either side, you will see my little bits of my pumpkin that I've cut off, we are gonna reuse those. So there is never any waste with carnation crafts. I'm gonna put a little bit of here, the glue on the florals and these are gonna sit either side. So they're gonna sit there like that. I'm then gonna take the bits that I chopped off the pumpkin. Again, don't waste anything. You've got all those extra bits to work in. And then I like to dress that along the bottom. Can you see? So that, no you can't see, sorry. That will dress it and look like it's all flowing on there. I'm gonna move this across so you can see what I'm doing this side. So again, taking exactly the same image and because it's on a vignette and it's double-sided, I can switch it over to match up with my other one. We are gonna pop that just there. And then again, the little bits that I took off my pumpkin, which I could, I could have poked in there to make that look a bit more fuller, but I was quite happy with that. I'm gonna use to pop on here. So it's bringing the colors and tying it all together as well. I've got a little bit of a thread, I do apologize. Got little bits. Let's add this onto here. And that's gonna sit there beautifully. But hopefully, like I say, if you're at home, you could take even more bits. You could slot bits in behind there as well. You could add these bits back in there if you wanted to, to look like it's extended out. Let's just bring that in. You could dress that a little bit more by having those, but very, very beautiful. But hopefully, once I close this up, you will see then, look, on the outside, you've got those beautiful autumnal florals that would work for birthdays, it could be christening, it could even be sympathy. But then on the inside, by having the basket weave like that, but not all over, it looks like they're poking out a basket. You've got height, you've got dimension, but just a beautiful, lovely collection for you to be able to use. So there you go, there's your third demonstration. Hopefully that's shown you how to use your kit a little bit more and give you that confidence to know that this kit is gonna work for you. If you're wanting the colors of autumn, we've got this beautiful collection for you with the little children in. You've got the florals in there, in the beautiful peaches and apricots. You've also got the sunflowers in there and you have got the warmth of the red flowers in there. I think they're called anemones you've got in there too. You have got the Z-fold card and hopefully as I've shown you, you can cut into it. You can make reverse easel cards with it. It could just be a topper on its own by using the large centerpiece, but you have all the mats and layers foliage and more and the beautiful tuck-ins you can see when you've got those you have them they are all there for you i just want to say first of all a massive thank you to the carnation crafts team thank you for your patience at home obviously with our technical issues and we will be back soon we will be back on saturday the 27th with something very brand new and exciting we've got something very nice very new and it's coming on the 27th put that date in your diary or on your phones or on your tippy tappies to make sure you don't miss out as you know carnation crafts always bring you something that's striving with excitement and something different to what everybody else is doing out there so hopefully you will be able to join us and get everything you want any questions always messaging on social media the team are always available but do join the facebook group if you've not joined it before and then make sure you don't miss out on any of the notifications you've got everything that you want to do thank you for joining me tonight it's been fantastic i'm dawn wheeler and i will see you soon take care bye bye